By now you've maneuvered the machine to your desired working location. As part of your normal daily maintenance and safety checks, you have released the rotor lift lock device and locked it into the working position. And now you're ready to start the rotor. Make sure the rotor is above the surface of the material as indicated by positive numbers on the display. Or you can check your cameras. If equipped with front and rear door chamber cameras, you can see that the rotor is off the ground and you're ready to engage the rotor. Once you're ready to engage the rotor, we suggest that you open the front and rear doors slightly to approximately 30% using the rotor door raise and lower buttons located on the joystick. Next you're ready to engage the rotor. You can select your rotor speed by the rotor speed dial. Here we're selected to speed number one which is recommended for the initial cut. Simply push and hold the rotor activation button until the pilot light lights. The machine will check and then engage the rotor. You can now set the engine speed to working speed by touching the engine speed button. Again it lights the pilot light to signify that the engine is in working speed. The RM400 is equipped with three rotor speeds that are controlled by engine speed and can be shifted on the fly. First speed is an engine speed of 1600 RPM at 108 revolutions per minute for the rotor. Second, 1950 RPM of the engine for 134 RPM of the rotor. And third at 2300 RPM of the engine at 159 RPM of the rotor.